The phone was ringing upstairs. I went upstairs. It was our oldest daughter. She said, Mom, get out. I said, it's going to be OK. And uh, when I did that, we heard water coming in. The water was whooshing down Main Street. My husband said to me, run upstairs, grab a bag, grab our meds, whatever we could get our hands on. We headed out the door, and the water pushed us back, and we had to stay. There was no way we could get out. He said, this is it. We're, we're in for the long haul. Out once in a while, because the neighbors were coming out. Everybody was just standing there in awe. People that lived on the street for 35 years had never seen this before. And it was rushing by so fast. And we saw trees go by, and I think pieces of furniture. And and this is the Schoharie Creek, and where it meets, it just it just rushed right in here. We only had about three to five minutes to get out of here with our <laughs> animals and everything. And then, yeah, the tomato plant. I took all the plants off the, um, the top of the deck and put it on the floor so it wouldn't blow away in the wind. And, you know, and then all of a sudden, there goes the tomato plant floating very gently down the street. And we prayed. We said goodbye to a lot of people, my family. I worried about my brother, who was at the other end, and his family, who got a hell of a lot worse than we, and prayed, and just said we were scared. Yeah, now you can see the house. Come down here. Right here. And that's where your house and your garage was completely gone. Yep. That was the basement and the garage. And there's where it ended up. So that's it off in the distance? That's it. Well, when the flood came here, all my, my stock finished work, the, the material, everything was, you can see it here. Everything went all over. It's a total loss. It's a total loss. Hmm. And my machinery in the back, too, it's, uh, it's all ruined. It's it's terrible, just terrible here. Yeah. You can see all, all the mud here. This is, there's hardly the foundation moved. There's hardly any way you can rebuild here. I will never live here again. And when you see your car, concrete coming up off the, the road, the back of your home, your personal things floating down the river, it's an awful feeling. I don't. I hope never. No one ever has to go through it. But thank you for being there for us. I've been in business since 1959, 52 years. Since 1959. Yeah. So that's that's the work. One lifetime work here. It's all wood. It's all wood. Yeah. yeah. It's our living room, where I dug and dug to get pictures. Our wedding album is laying over there. Our Bible. When we stopped at the bank next door, I saw the sign, the Red Cross sign, and I said to my mother, I said, you know, we should go in there and find out what kind of services they provide, because we're homeless. I mean, let's face it, 